Let's just get to it. Top 10, top 10 Keanu Reeves Marvel Cinematic Universe roles that everyone else is missing. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, the most lit comic book YouTube channel on the planet. I'm Peter A. DeLuca, aka Pad D Eclectic One. Why am I eclectic? Because I like eating food on this channel. I like talking to you about all things geek and pop culture. Putting my opinion in front of your face. Thank you, internet. I'm also eclectic because I just do a lot of things. YouTubing, podcasts, drawing, 9 to 5. I, there's a pet cat in the mix. I'm a cat guy. I'm a cat bro. I'm a cat companion. Now, I've done some research. Let's get some of this. I've done some research. Here's the evidence. I have a list. The list is what everyone's been missing. Everyone's talking about Keanu Reeves and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Marvel Cinematic Universe right now is being held hostage by Brie Larson. Keanu Reeves has social media credit because he's hashtag me too proof. There's the evidence. People are just going crazy. Everyone loves Keanu Reeves. Look, Bill and Ted, The Matrix, John Wick. The guy has created three cinematic icons that we hold dear that have held the test of time. Now, three. The only other person that kind of comes close to that would be, you know, just sequel-wise, would be Stallone with Rambo and Rocky. But his three are still not as good as his two. But look, let's just get to it. Top 10, top 10 Keanu Reeves Marvel Cinematic Universe roles that everyone else is missing I have the list. The list is right here. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. I need to open my pen for this. The top 10 top down list. And I'm, this is what I'm leaving out. Because the low hanging intruders out there, the people that don't put thought into this, they've already said Namor. They've already said Black Bolt. They've already said Silver Surfer. Those are out. We don't want to see them. Next, number 10. Is a three-way because we love guns and we love John Wick. Ready? Paladin, Solo, Maverick. Have him come in as any one of those three, especially Maverick because he has an X-Men connection. He has a Legacy Virus connection. He has a Sabretooth, a Wolverine connection. He just has a Black Ops guy looking in cool armor connection. Do it. Do it right now, number 10. Number 9, number 9 is going to be Quasar zipping around the cosmos. I read the 90s Quasar comic and holy crap, I loved it. John Wick, Keanu Reeves as Quasar with the Cosmic Bands. Sign me up. Number 10, rolling the Avengers. And look, look, there's not much left from 60s Marvel to mine, but we do have Wonder Man. He is one of the Avengers. He has multiple forms, like his Eon form, which is one of my favorite. I don't know. Wonder Man, John Wick, Keanu Reeves. Number eight is a win. Number seven, the MCU. Legendary die Stan Lee. Everyone thinks Stan Lee created everything. So put your money where your mouth is. If you're going to push a lie, push Ravage 20. 99. I'm just going to leave that there. Moving it. He doesn't even have to be 299. He could just be Ravage. But I'm going to leave that one there. We're moving on to number six. One of my, ooh, one of my favorite. One of the coolest ones. One of the best things to come out of early 2000s Marvel. The Century. The Yellow and Gold. He's like the Golden State Warriors of the MCU. Let's go with that boy. Okay, number five. All right. If, if Mysterio is really from another dimension and it's not a trick in Spider-Man Far From Home, if they're really going a little bit multiverse with the MCU, let's just go into the future, but bring him back, the future Franklin Richards, I'm talking Fantastic Force, 
I'm talking potentially Franklin Richards Galactus because we're just mashing it all together at this point. Keanu Reeves as an older Franklin Richards. You got me, boy. Sign me up. All right. Number four, we're also mashing a multiverse. We're also taking different versions, different iterations of putting them together. I'm talking Machine Man. He just has the voice. He has the posture. He has the presence of Machine Man. And we got the Jack Kirby connection and the Alex Ross and Jim Kruger. Out to you, buddy. Earth X, Machine Man, let's rock and roll. Let's just do this. All right. Number three. We're already at number three. Here's the big one. Big one. Marvel Knights. No, it's not Moon Knight. Marvel Boy. Keanu Reeves, Marvel Boy. We're going with it. Okay. Number two. Number two. Me? Oh. If we got Wakanda, we can have the Savage Land. We have the Savage Land. We can have Kazar. That's right. Kazar number nine. Kazar number two. Yes. That's a yes. Okay. Number one. We're already at number one. Number one. Kids. Do you like Canada? Do you like Alpha Flight? Do you like John Byrne? Do you like the North? Remember the North. Do you like their interpretation, their version of the superhero force? Mostly to counter the, you know, the X-Men, but it's their thing. I'm talking Alpha Flight, and I'm talking Keanu Reeves as the Vindicator. Make that happen. He, he, he just fits that perfectly. It blows my mind. But look, everyone, I'd love you to subscribe, comment, support, retweet. Show this to your cats, because we you know I'm a cat guy, even though I love dogs, but I'm a cat guy. Until next time, aka Patters, I love you, and let's rock!